Lake Garda, north of Verona, is Italy's most family-friendly and water sport lake. It is also Italy's largest lake, stretching from the rugged alpine foothills to the northern edge of the Po Valley. The south shore is fringed by beaches and surrounded by low hills. To the north, mountains and sheer cliffs line the lake, especially along the west bank. Its terrain provides the lake with a variety of attractions for sport-loving tourists, from steady winds for sailing and windsurfing to mountains for rock climbing, rappelling and mountain biking with lake views. You can easily spend a week here without running out of things to do. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. So guys, in today's video, we will discuss top 10 things to do on Garda Lake. Without further ado, let's begin. Sermion Sermion is probably one of the first towns to be seen on Lake Garda. From the grottos of Catullus to Scaliger Castle, through the alleys of the historic center, to the churches of Santa Maria della Neve and San Pietro in Mavino, this town of about 8,000 people alone is worth a visit to the area. One of his most important monuments is certainly Scaliger Castle. Dating back to around 1250, it is one of Italy's best-preserved castles and is fully open to visitors. The Vittoriale degli Italiani in Gardone Riviera Located in Lombardy's Gardone Riviera, the Vittoriale degli Italiani is the tomb of the poet Gabriel D'Annunzio and is a real citadel built between 1921 and 1938. Vittoriale has a large house museum full of objects and ornaments, a large park with statues, ponds and gardens, an auditorium for 200 people where exhibitions, conferences and events are held, and an amphitheater. Among the many memorabilia to admire, there is also the hilltop mausoleum that houses his remains and, above all, the Puglia ship. Gratte di Catullo the Gratte di Catullo is the well-preserved remains Roman villa of the 1st century Annum Domini in Sermione and is now considered the most important example of a Roman villa in northern Italy. Its vast ruins still baffle historians' theories about its exact nature, from a giant bath complex to an ancient version of a full-service resort. play at Gardaland and nearby theme parks. One of the most famous parks in all of Europe is Gardaland, a park complex that includes Gardaland Sea Life and the Gardaland Hotel. The well-designed park has all the rides you'd expect, from storybook kitty rides to adventure and adrenaline rushes. Blue Tornado is a steel inverted roller coaster that will delight thrill seekers. New to Gardaland for 2018 is Peppa Pig Land, a fantasy village with rides for children. Isola del Garda Isola del Garda, also known as Bordes, is the largest island on Lake Garda and is located about 200 meters from the coast. Reachable by boat and privately owned, guided tours are held in the impressive park and Ferrari Villa. The Ferrari Villa is a fine example of a villa built in the early 20th century and the only example of Venetian neo-Gothic style. At the lake, in addition to the villas and their gardens, Garda is worth a visit for its fascinating history. Torre del Benaco One of the most beautiful towns on Lake Garda, Torre del Benaco sits on the lakeshore, partly interrupted by the impressive medieval Castello Scaligero, built in 1383 over the ruins of a 10th-century castle. The West Tower is all that remains of the original castle, 
Torre del Benico is at the eastern end of the Cross Lake Car Ferry from Maderno on the western shore. You can learn a lot about the area in the museum that fills several galleries inside the castle. Desenzano Another must-see destination for your Lake Garda vacation is Desenzano, known as the capital of the lakes. The historic center, lakeside, and especially the castle overlooking the city are all attractions worth visiting. The same applies to the Archaeological Museum, which houses many prehistoric finds found in the area. Arco and Cascada del Verón North of Riva, the road climbs through spectacular landscapes of craggy mountains and small lakes. Follow signs from Riva to the Cascada del Verón, a dramatic waterfall that has carved a corkscrew-shaped vertical gorge as it drops from a glacial lake above. North of Verón, the old town of Arco sits on the banks of the river Sarca, in an unexpectedly southern vegetation. Farms and orchards flourish in this mild microclimate, and two beautiful promenades planted with magnolia and palm trees. Malsacene Malsacene's historic center retains its medieval atmosphere and blends well with the town's shops, bars, restaurants and other commercial activities. The medieval streets of the historic center are full of exciting corners and beautiful views of the lake. Ancient and modern coexist well here. From this point of view, the most successful example is undoubtedly Scaliger Castle, which dominates the city. Pesquiera del Garda Another town of considerable beauty and interest is Pesquiera del Garda. Here are two UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The Fortress of Pesciera, which still surrounds the historic center today, and the stilt on Lake Frasino, about two kilometers from the town. An ideal place for birds watchers too. The city also has about three kilometers of coastline for seaside and sports activities. So guys, that's all for today's video. Which one of these attractions interest you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Share this video with more of your friends. Like and hit the notification bell icon to never miss out any of our latest updates.